Karibu sana Mr. Tinga Tinga Channel tena kwa mara nyingine na kukaribisha uh, siku ya leo tuchambue uh, shairi la A Freedom Song lililoandikwa na Marjorie McGoe. Huyu ni mzungu ambaye pia naye alikuwa ameolewa huko nchini Uganda na ameishi Uganda miaka kadhaa kabla hajaandika shairi hili uh, na shairi hili linasema yafuatayo Atieno washes dishes Atieno anaosha vyombo Atieno plucks the chicken Atieno ananyonyoa kuku Atieno gets up early Atieno anaamka mapema asubuhi bed her sucks down in the kitchen ana 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 tandika matambala yake pale chini kijikoni atieno 8 years old atieno yo atieno na miaka 8 atieno yo kwamba atieno anaamka tunaona kabisa atieno anaamka asubuhi atieno anaosha vyombo atieno ananyonyoa kuku atieno anaamka asubuhi mapema atieno analala sakafuni atieno ana miaka 8 atieno yo katika ubeti huu wa kwanza tunaona kabisa kuna child labor eh, kwa sababu huyu atieno ni mdogo sana lakini pia kutuona kuna kuna swala la la la, la, la. tunaweza tukatem hardship kwa sababu bado hatujaendelea kusoma lakini kwa sababu tunajua kabisa tunaona kabisa this is oppression lakini pia somehow it is exploitation unaona mtu anafanya makazi mengi kiasiki lakini he beds her sucks down in the kitchen analala jikoni e, na chini pale na analalia pia matambala you see ukienda ubeti wa pili anakuambia since she is my sister's child atieno needs no pay uh, uh, kwa sababu ni mtoto wa dada yangu atieno hahitaji malipo yoyote while she works my wife my wife can sit sewing every sunny day akiwa anafanya kazi atieno mke wangu anaweza kakaa chini na akiwa anaendelea kushona vitu vyake siku nzima with her earnings i support atieno Uh, kwa kwa shughuli za mke wangu zinazomuingizia kipato yeye mimi naendelea kumsupport eh atieno yo utaona kwamba huyu mtoto licha ya kufanya makazi yote hayo kumbe anaishi na mjomba wake anamwambia since she is my sister's child atieno needs no pay na pale ambapo yeye atieno anaendelea kufanya kazi mke wa mjomba wake anaweza akakaa akaendelea kufuma vitu vyake kwa sababu mjomba ana support hivyo vinaendelea kumuingizia mke wake kipato utaona this is responsibility and also uh, cha abuse uh, abu, uh, abusive of child uh, rights so, utaona wanam wanam huyu mtoto atieno is shy and jealous bad example to the kids atieno anawivu uh, na an, ni, ni, anaibu na ni anawivu mfano mbaya kabisa kwa watoto since she minds them like a school girl uh, kutoka uh, since kama ambavyo anawa, anawatamania eh, wa, wa, watoto kama na yeye kana kwamba ni ni, 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 ni ni mtoto ni mwanafunzi once they are dresses shoes and beds atieno 10 years old akiwa anatamani magauni yao na yeye anatamani namna wanavyosuka atieno 10 years old atieno ana miaka kumi atieno yo utaona ana miaka kumi lakini bado hajaanza kwenda shule na anamchukia ana this is this is hypocrisy eh? hypocrisy ni unafiki kwamba anachukia atieno anavyokuwa anatamani kwenda shule anasema she minds them like a school girl kwa hivyo atieno is not a school girl this is unafiki unaona kabisa kwamba anajua kabisa atieno ana miaka kumi lakini hataki atieno atamani shule au atamani kuwa pia kama msichana ambaye anasoma unaenda ubeti mwingine anakuambia Now my wife has gone to study atieno is less free mke wangu sasa naye ameenda kujiendeleza kusoma atieno kidogo ana uhuru don't i keep her uh, school my own ones vipi kwani je yeah. Sim, simtunzi yeye alafu pia nikawapeleka shule wa kwangu pay the party tuition uh, union fee uh, pay the party union fee nikawalipia ada all for progress aren't you grateful atieno yo kwamba okay vyote ninavyofanya hivi ni kwa ajili ya maendeleo atieno je yeah. wewe huoni fahari umeona yani kwamba anataka atieno aone fahari a, a, aone 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 fahari katika yeye kulishwa tu chakula lakini pia ndugu zake kwenda shule kwa hivyo anamuuliza atieno je yeah. aren't you grateful kwamba hufurahii hui fahari na na hilo eh? visitors needs much attention wageni wanahitaji uh, uangalizi mkubwa all the more uh, at uh, all the more when i work at uh, when i work night uh, sana sana pale ambapo mimi nafanya kazi usiku 
that girl spends too long at market lakini msichana huyu anatumia muda mwingi sana akienda sokoni who will teach her what is right nani atamfundisha jambo lipi ni muhimu atieno rising g uh, 14 atieno yo atieno tunaona na miaka 14 na tayari mjomba wake analipoti kwamba uh, atieno anatumia muda mwingi sana sokoni na anatueleza kwamba yeye ndo anakea mambo yote ya nyumbani kwa sababu hata wageni anawakea yeye. Atieno sasa anaanza kuchelewa kurudi sokoni ana miaka 14 na, na mjomba anauliza, e, who will teach her e, what is right? Nani atamwelekeza Atieno uh, kitu gani ni sahihi? Atieno had a baby uh, so we know what, that she is bad. Atieno sasa ana mtoto na tunafahamu sasa E, kwamba Atieno ni mbaya unajua Afrika dhambi kubwa zaidi ni kuwa na mimba pata ukimwi pata tatizo lingine lolote linalosababishwa labda na zina unaona kabisa tumeambiwa beti lililopita kwamba Atieno tayari anachelewa kutoka shu, kutoka sokoni sasa tayari ameshaanza kusimamishwa simamishwa huko akiwa na miaka 14 eh tunaambiwa Atieno tunaenda ubeti mwingine tunaambiwa Atieno uh, tayari sasa ana, ana mimba na sasa tunafahamu kwamba ni mbaya tunaendelea na kuambia 50 50 it may live and repeat the life she had. Kwa hiyo 50 50 anaweza akajifungua na akapata mtoto na wote wawili yeye uh, and repeat the life she had na akarudi kwenye maisha magumu aliyokuwa nayo. Lakini tunaambiwa tena ending in postpartum bleeding lakini akaishia kwenye kuvuja damu kuliko kutiliza atieno yo. Atieno soon replaced meat and sugar more than all atieno mara baada ya kufariki e, akawa replaced na, na, na nyama na sukari nyingi zaidi ambazo aliwahi kula e, than more than all nyingi zaidi she ate in such a narrow life hata zile zaidi yani nyama na sukari nyingi zaidi ambazo aliwahi kula akiwa hai were lavished on her funeral zili zili zililiwa katika msiba yake Atieno goes to glory, Atieno ameenda mbinguni, Atieno yo. Sasa hili shairi so wanauliza what is the poem about? The poem is about uh, a, a, a girl called Atieno who is humiliated, exploited and oppressed by her own uncle. The poem is about a girl who is humiliated, exploited and oppressed by her own Uncle, who is speaking the poem the poem the persona in the poem uh, ni nani ambaye anazungumza hapa the persona in the poem it is Atieno's uncle as we can see on the second verse uh, stanza says that since she's my sister's child eh utaona persona ni mjomba wake na 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 Atieno so what suffering does Atieno experience Utaona uh, Atieno anasafa ishu gani uh, zinamsumbua? Utaona Atieno suffers from torture, humiliation in the house of her uncle eh, and psychological uh, and, and psychologically uh, she's being treated badly psychologically. Utaona kabisa suffer za anazopokea Atieno ni kuwa oppressed hivi physically kabisa unaona anatumikishwa makazi mengi eh, anakuwa exploited ananyonywa lakini pia psychologically anaumizwa kwa sababu kuna wasichana wenzie wanaenda shule ila Atieno amekosa hiyo nafasi. Sasa tukiongelea main ideas ambazo zipo kwenye hii shairi uh, na tukiongelea sana sana themes utaona kuna themes kama ifuatavyo. Okay. Theme namba moja kuna exploitation. Uh, Atieno is being uh, 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 is being exploited as she does or she do a lot of works without any payments atieno is being humiliated anateswa ana, anafanywa ana, ana, ananyanyaswa humiliation ananyanyaswa kwa sababu ana, ana, anakuwa badly treated as a human being must not receive such kind of treatments for example sleeping down at the kitchen eh utaona kulala chini ile ni unanhumiliate mwanadamu haitakiwi kuwa vile he, she is not taken uh, she is not been taken to school hapeleki shule that is humiliation ni haki ya mtoto kumpeleka shule unapokuwa unampeleki mtoto shule that is humiliation utaona she she does a lot of work anafanya kazi nyingi sana nyumbani na kwa mtoto chini ya miaka kumi na ngapi utaona kabisa that is also forbidden for human rights so he she is being humiliated lakini pia utaona 
Kwenye main ideas pia ambazo tutazikuta hapa tumejadili hypocrisy of her uncle ni mnafiki kwa sababu uh, utaona anafahamu kabisa atieno ni mdogo lakini hataki atieno vile hapendi atieno vile anavyotamani kwenda shule. Yaani anachukia kwamba she minds uh, atieno she is shy and jealous uh, bad example to the children since she mind them like a school girl. Sasa ile ni unafiki. Unajua kabisa huyu ana miaka kumi lakini unachukia anavyotamani shule. Kwa utona kuna hypocrisy, eh? utona kuna humiliation, eh? utona kuna exploitation eh? Humiliation na child abuse ni issue ili ili Lakini themes nyingine utona kuna early pregnancy <coughs> Ambapo naona tieno wamepata mimba kiwa mdogo na amefariki eh? Utona kuna ignorance, ignorance utona ignorance uh, Atieno zanko is ignorant as he don't understand the importance of taking care of uh, to the to the children uh, equally eh? though maybe hata kama ni mtoto wa dada yake lakini alipaswa kumchukulia vizuri sasa anakosa uelewa he is ignorant eh? unaweza kuulizwa uh, what is the, the tone of the poem the tone of the poem is sympathetic eh? ina huruma sympathy ni kuona huruma it is sympathetic lakini it is though uh, Atieno's uncle anakuwa anasound hypocritic anasound kama mnafiki eh, kwa sababu gani eh, unaona anamuonea Atieno huruma lakini though yeye ndo anemtesa lakini tone tunayosikia sisi ni sympathetic kwamba ina inaonyesha huruma message ambayo tunaipata ni kwamba uh, we should discourage child labor we, uh, we should uh, alleviate poverty tunatakiwa tu tu tu, tu commission umaskini we should uplift human rights eh inatakiwa tu tu tuongeze uplift human rights uh, especially to the children tu tuongeze au tuzingatie kuwafanyia watoto uh, kuhakikisha wanapata haki zao we should sympathize with children tunatakiwa tuonee huruma uh, watoto uh, licha ya atieno unaona kabisa huyu uh, ni mtoto wa uh, ni, ni utaona kabisa atieno's uncle huyu ni mtoto wa dada yake lakini anamtreat vibaya so mes, uh, tuna, lesson tunayopata hapa hatutakiwi kuwa kama uh, mjomba wake na atieno karibu sana usiache ku comment ku subscribe uh, au ku like ili kuendelea kuonyesha support kwa kile tunachokifanya karibu sana kwa ajili ya uchambuzi kazi nyingine nyingi kabisa